Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Today I'm here to do a page in my planner all dedicated to my upcoming Paris trip. So if you'd like to see what I do, stay tuned. The first thing I'm going to do is take this student sticker book and use these stickers at the top of the page. I'm just checking to see if I have enough, and I do, because I'm just going to spill out Paris at the top of the page. I don't know about you guys, but when I get ready to go on a trip, it's not so much the packing that's the issue. It's all the other stuff that I have going on that I have to prepare ahead of time. Or, you know, I'm going to use my ruler trick here. Not my ruler trick, but the ruler trick. I don't remember where I... Or this I think one of you guys maybe I'm not sure um, so when I go on a trip I it's all the other stuff like um, preparing for like the pets and do you have enough prescription medications and you know who's gonna take care of the trash and all that kind of stuff that's like really overwhelming for me so I need um, a sheet where I just put everything in one place and I thought since I'm making it anyway I would make it pretty and show you guys so that's what I'm doing besides I'm more likely to have fun looking at it and using it if um, it's pretty let's be honest okay so this trick is you just put the letters out on the edge of a ruler and then you can eyeball it to see where to center your letters and I'm gonna put this slightly off center because I'm gonna use this little Eiffel Tower I hesitate to use it because I am gonna be doing a Paris spread but um, there are a few other Eiffel Towers in here so in here and in the um, the travel oh this is like the color story three I believe um, Anyway, there's several other ones, so I can use this without worrying about it too much. So I'm just gonna, wait, how is I gonna do this? Maybe I'll put it on the side here. And I'll just stick this down like that, and then I'll put this next to it. How's that? And I don't, didn't really need the ruler trick then. I thought I was gonna center it, but I decided to put it on the side instead. So since I'm getting ready, I am really, actually really overwhelmed right now. I'm trying to prepare some content for you guys for when I'm away. And I don't know how much content I'm gonna be able to give you, to be honest, because I'm trying to focus on getting everything else done and just videos for this week and all that kind of stuff. So if, um, if I don't put out as many videos or any videos, I'm not sure, um, don't worry, I will be back. This is just a little vacay and I will try to put some out for you. But if I don't, I'll be back. So don't worry. Okay, the first thing I'm going to be using here is the packing list. And this is from the travel sticker book. And I'm going to use this blue one because it matches this. Um, this is not not going to be like my full packing list, but what this is going to be for me is a list of things that, this is really hard to put down straight, even though I have dot grid paper. This is going to be a list of things that I might forget that aren't like regular things because I do have a regular packing list. I don't know if I ever showed you guys that. I haven't showed you in a while. Why don't I pull that out and show you real quick? I do have a video on it. And I will link that in the description box below just so you can check that out. But let me show you my packing lists that I have in my planner. I actually, what I do is um, photocopy them. I photocopy these and then I check off on the photocopy, although I messed this up. This I actually started checking it off on this one until I realized that. But so I have one for fall vacation, one for a beach vacation, and one for a weekend packing list. So what I'll probably do is use like the fall one and because I think it's going to be, it, it's not quite fall weather there yet, but 
it's not really hot summery beachy stuff either so i'll just take a look at these and i'll use one of these lists i should do like a general list i suppose but this these are pretty general and then this is going to be extra stuff that i really don't want to forget stuff like you know my passport obviously and um um like just little things that aren't clothing related i guess so like my headphones and my i have to take um i have to use a scopolamine patch when i travel so i don't get vertigo i want to bring those and like little things like that that i don't necessarily want to um want to forget so i'm going to take this since i think this is really cute and it matches like this color and this color. I think I'm going to white this out and I'm going to put this over here. Even though that says packing list and that's cute too. I kind of really like this. So I'm going to try to do that. So let me get my white out here. I could also cover this with label paper, so either one would work. I think I'm going to put it like this. Okay. So I think that's just a little bit cuter. I don't know. So now, before I decorate anymore, I think what I'm going to do is make some boxes just with pen. Or maybe I should do it with washi. Let me see. I've got all this skinny washi tape. I could use some of this. Okay, I have I found some navy washi tape. It does have silver stars on it, but that's okay. I'm going to use that to make the boxes. And then I'm going to put some of this little skinny scallop washi like on just the top part of the box i think that'll be really cute because it matches these colors so i think we're only going to use these colors for this little page Okay, I think that's a really cute little box. I'm gonna make another one right below it and maybe in a different color or maybe I'll use the same one. One is going to be for like things to do before I leave and another one's gonna be like, don't forget, like like just something, little things to jot down, like don't forget that this is happening or you know, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another box. Okay, I noticed I had this bigger scallop washi and I think it would be cuter and more noticeable if I put that on here. I don't think I'm gonna put anything on the bottom. I decided to use a different color for just a little bit of contrast and I used the same color pretty much as these little dots here so, so that it would coordinate. So I'm gonna just take this and put this at the top. It's a little wrinkled over there. Does take up less room to write, but I do have two boxes to write in, so I think I should be okay. There, I think that's cuter. I don't know about you, I think it's cuter. Okay, so now I'm going to need to put a little bit of the turquoise color down here just to carry that kind of color down here because there's a lot of purpley bits down there. So I'm going to look in this travel sticker book and see what's here. How about this explore? I know it's green, but let's see what it would look like. I think it, it is green, but I think it's okay because it kind of ties in this color. I don't know. Let me see what else is here. Let me take off the Explorer because it is bugging me slightly that it's, oh no, it started to rip. It's bugging me slightly that it's green. So 
I am going to take this off. Uh, I probably need the undo. All right, you guys keep asking for it. Although I already ripped the page, so I don't know if it will be good for, for it now or not. So you guys keep asking for this. I have been hesitating using the undo because it, it like wets the page and scares me. <laughs> All right, well, I'll try it. It says squeeze several drops of the, whoa, that might be too much. I don't know. And it says saturate, do I saturate the sticker? No, I'm just gonna put it on there and see. Oh God, that's so scary. That's probably too much. Oh. You know what, I'm gonna use my, um, my palette knife instead of that thing. Did still rip up some of the page but we'll put a sticker over it okay I hope that dries you guys keep telling me how great this stuff is I hope it dries I guess it will all right so let's leave that alone for a minute and we'll work on some stuff up here so I want to is it drying Look, it went right through the paper it smells like chemicals Smells like um, rubber cement. Look at this. It is. It's drying. Look. Look at that. It's disappearing. That's pretty cool. All right. All right. You guys got me. Now you hooked me. I like that. <laughs> I kind of like that undo. I am impressed by the undo. Thank you for the suggestion. I have had that in my drawer for literally like five months and I haven't used it. I'm gonna just glue this little piece down so that like it still looks like part of the page. I don't know. But I am gonna put probably a sticker over it. Okay. I like this little row of houses in the color storybook. I don't know if it's like Parisian or not, but should I put more colors in here though? I said I was only gonna do those colors. Hmm, what to do? And I do like this little um, scooter. I put that there. You know what, I like the look of it without adding in other colors, so I'm not going to. I'm just gonna put this guy down. I'm gonna put that there and then maybe, although there is red in there, isn't there? Hmm, there is red and pink already in there, but I guess that's so subtle that I didn't really notice it. What if I just add a little passport here? Or I could put that up here. That's kind of cute down there. I feel like there needs to be something up here though. Why don't I use this little purse up here? Is it a purse or a travel bag? I don't know, but it's cute, whatever it is. And put it there. I think that's cute, right? I think it's cute enough. So now I'm just going to write in here, I guess, don't forget or remember, and then to do. I guess so. I am gonna use this Paper Mate Flare. messed up that remember but that's okay at least it's centered 
So I feel like I want to make it like a little more emphasis around Paris, like maybe little lines or something. There's some navy. What if I just do like this? I don't know how I feel about it, but it's done now. So, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna fill out this list off camera so that I can make it look nice and pretty because otherwise it's gonna get sloppy when I'm trying to write. So, and then I will post it on Instagram so you can check that out. And I will see you guys in my next video. And there will be probably another video or two before I leave. So, not to worry. <laughs> okay, see ya. Bye.